Hello, lively viewers, and welcome to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today's program is the final episode in a two-part series featuring our interview with staff and clients from the Coronary Health Improvement Project, or CHIP, a low-cost instructional program founded by Dr. Hans Deal of California, USA, that helps people change their lifestyles to prevent and reverse disease through the vegan diet. In CHIP's courses, participants learn to decrease their cholesterol, triglyceride, and blood sugar levels by losing weight, lowering their blood pressure, exercising, changing their diets, and stopping smoking. As we learned in part one, CHIP has helped improve the health and well-being of over 50,000 people worldwide who were suffering from heart disease, hypertension, and other conditions stemming from diets high in cholesterol and saturated fat, especially meat and dairy products. Dr. Schubert Palmer is a cardiologist serving as a CHIP program lecturer in Los Angeles, California, USA. We asked him to speak about choosing the right foods to eat. What sort of diet would you recommend to people? The research is coming in now so much so that we can't even keep up with reading, but it is validating the fact that the the diet that you see advocated in the CHIP program and elsewhere, uh, one that is plant-based, is the best way to go. And the, the sooner one can move in that direction, the better their health is going to be. A plant-based diet, that is the answer to so many of the chronic degenerative diseases that we're having in America. What are some of the problems of consuming eggs and dairy products? Eggs and dairy products come with a lot of baggage. First of all, the cholesterol in the egg yolk, 250 milligrams of cholesterol. That's enough cholesterol for the whole week. And then, you know, we've always been having these scares, salmonella poisoning and all of these other things that are, are popping up. The other thing that um, is of concern with the dairy products, you see reference to in, in uh, the China study, the fact that all animal-based foods come with a little warning label, beware, this may cause cancer. And we know the facts are very straight. The, the China study by T. Colin Campbell outlines that. And for a scientist like myself, when you look at that book, you have several hundred references to peer-reviewed scientific data that validate this problem. So dairy products with their fat, cholesterol, it is an issue. The protein from dairy, as in other animal products, is an issue. The infection that can come about is an issue. And uh, the cruelty to the animals is also something that concerns me. It's, it's a big issue. You know, you should not eat a meal that requires the food you're eating to first get estrogens and growth hormones and antibiotics pumped into the animals, and then, you know, to have them just uh, slaughtered. It is wasteful, inhumane, in a terrible way for a civilization as advanced as we are. We'll now meet two participants who will discuss the physical and emotional benefits that may be gained from CHIP training. Miriam Morris of California, USA was overweight and didn't know how to improve her condition before turning to CHIP for help. Can you tell us uh, about your life before CHIP? I was a person who didn't like to cook. So I would buy things that were already prepared. So that was my eating style. And I gained a tremendous amount of weight as a result of that because it was very, very bad for my body. For a good two to three years, I was 60 pounds overweight. And can you tell us about your chip experience? Even though I've always known that if you eat healthy, that somehow it's going to translate into you're going to feel better and look better. That is not really internalized when you're in a pinch, like when you have a craving for something you shouldn't have. With chip, I've been able to find out not only what we're eating, but where the food comes from. And because of that, I've been able to make some pretty decent choices. And the, the choice that I came to is that it's best for me to be a vegan. So where's the food coming from? 
Well, the thing that scared me the most is the fact that I am not in control of how chickens and cows are fed, how they're looked after medically, a host of other things. And all of this is out of my control. And I didn't like the information I was hearing, such as I'm eating antibiotics as well as the chicken or the cow. And these animals are sick and we shouldn't be eating them. What do you think about Dr. Hans Thiel? Oh, I think he's wonderful. I mean, the CHIP program has really been quite a life changer for me because of the information that I was given through the CHIP program. I can make better choices. The choices that I make now are informed choices. They're not choices that are made out of fear. Well, if I eat this, I'm going to get fat, or if I eat this, such and such a thing will happen. No, after having gone through the CHIP program twice, I do know that I'm making the choice, and it's not out of fear. Because those kinds of emotional choices don't last. You have to have a commitment that is rooted deeply in understanding what you're eating, where it's coming from, and why you shouldn't eat that product. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? I also wanted to add that I used to suffer from depression a great deal, and uh, I no longer suffer from depression since I've become a vegan, and I suspect that it's tied to that. Dr. Rima Johnson is also from California, USA. She decided to take better care of her body as she grew older and consulted CHIP for guidance and training. I'm a doctor of psychology. I'm also a registered nurse, retired from the United States Army as a Lieutenant Colonel. Can you tell us how you got involved with the CHIP program? I became a Seventh-day Adventist when I went to the Adventist High School in Montego Bay, Jamaica. And since I became an Adventist, I've always heard that it's better not to eat pork. But I never knew that it was basically anything from the animal kingdom. But as I got older, I started reading more and learning more and just got more interested in taking care of my body. And as I got more interested in taking care of my body, I also realized that it's not just pork that is the problem. It's all animal fats. And so I began watching what I eat, watching animal fats. And then I realized that when the human body ages, all systems change, they slow down. And in order to keep them running well, the plant-based diet plus exercise is good to help the systems to work and function for longer time without any major illnesses. So are you a graduate of the CHIP program? I attended the Glendale Hospital program that is a part of CHIP. I attended the Glendale program two years in a row. When I started it in 2009, and I was weighing 180 pounds. And the following year when I went back, I had lost 40 pounds. And then I'm hoping when I go next time, I will lose an additional 20 pounds because I used to be quite big. But now I am 140 pounds because I'm on the plant-based diet and I run seven miles a day. Wow. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask how old you are? I'm 74. That's very impressive. Oh, thank you. The Lord is good. Can you talk about how it affected you emotionally? Yes. It affected me totally, physically and emotionally. And emotionally was very important because as one gets older, your emotions change because your body systems change. A lot of older people get depression. I used to get depression. Um, or not sleeping well, um, or craving food, or thinking that food is the only answer to my problems. But since I have changed my lifestyle, depend on God more. I realize that my body is not so much uh, the physical peace that's out there, but it's the temple of God. And he says, if I allow him to come in and dwell within me, he will heal me. He will, he will be my all in all. So I don't go all 
upset because of a trial because I know God is leading somewhere and I just turn it over to him. So emotionally, I think I have grown a lot. Beautiful. Thank you. Our appreciation, Dr. Schubert Palmer, for discussing the wholesome plant-based diet from a physician's perspective, and Ms. Miriam Morris and Dr. Rima Johnson for speaking with us about your experiences with the CHIP program. May you all continue to enjoy the very best of health and vitality in the future. For more information on the Coronary Health Improvement Project, please visit www.chiphealth.com. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Healthy Living and the final part of our series on the Coronary Health Improvement Project. May all beings be blessed each day with inner peace through God's grace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.